Hey everybody, I'm Tektos and welcome back to Let's Play Endless Legend. We're playing the Draken on impossible difficulty and we're soon gonna be on the warpath again. Uh, wow, that's gotta be the fastest introduction ever. Um, but I kind of got a duty to do that because uh, we've been playing, not we, not we. Why do I always, like if I do something wrong, I'm gonna say we. If I do something great, I'm gonna say I did it. <laughs> Obviously, I was playing too slow last time, so let's actually... Oh. Alright, that's more scary than it looks. It's just one out of five victory conditions, so yeah. Ain't gonna bother me. You can build more districts and thou shall have it. Because if we complete the triangle, they should get to fervent level. And then we could actually... I don't know what we could do with that city. Probably not much. It's just gonna contribute some more influence, some more science, some more stuff overall. And stuff is good. Stuff is what we need. Gold, yeah, gold is also what we need uh, to actually win this freaking game. Also need more science stockpiles. Uh, Hamburg, nice, nice, nice. So we got some. Let's actually take a little inventory. So now here we do have. Uh, what are you missing? You got a weirn. You got a draconling ended. Got an ancient. I guess we're gonna give you another weir. Let's actually look at the unit first. Um, could we edit you? Could we give you better stuff? Not really. Is there any better? What damage do you do? 70 and 116. Yeah, that's pretty good. Hmm. Doesn't do much for. Uh, ah, but God, this thing here will do a lot for initiative. But I actually don't want these guys to have that much of an initiative. I want them to be high damage and uh, sweep strike back. They're gonna be what consists my expendable force. So let's just buy one. Um, and then we're gonna have a complete 8 stack that I'm gonna send to the border to invade here in Jamo... Jamoji? Jamoj? What's that? Jamo... Ah, uh, whatever. Don't get hung up on that. <laughs> uh, we need some defensive force up here, but I think we have that... Yeah, we have it here. It's probably our most experienced round of troops. Along with our, not with our most experienced hero. Mm, pretty good though. Has a couple nice bonuses here. Army damage boost, army initiative boost, inspiring leader, yeah, yeah, yeah that's good. So uh, he's gonna be responsible for defending this area here. Not sure if I need a second army there. Alright, so we're gonna need Varese, the stack from Varese to move here. The stack from Hamburg, whoops, you need to level up. Uh, what do we actually get here? More production? More overall stuff? I guess overall stuff is good. Let's get that. Um, yeah, Hamburg. Where was I? We're gonna produce another army in Hamburg. Just. Two Adam lanes, ancient ended weird. So what we're actually missing is uh, one of these guys. Hmm. Yeah, let's get one of you. Well, actually, don't really need them. The Adam lane is just fine. Let's get one of those. So that's six. You're gonna constitute number seven. Probably wanna have another ended in here. Did we actually? Sorry for that, but oops, wrong button again. I'm famous for that. Let's check. Yeah, we did upgrade them. I'm actually thinking ahead. That's that's wow, always surprising. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna get one of those. So that will make three more. That's gonna be eight units in total. Six thousand. Uh, maybe maybe we're gonna spend a couple turns of production on you, and then just queue up another Adamling just to. 
just two. Yeah, that's. And here, we're not yet there. Um, we need. Oh, we actually just need one more population. We could start building the. Yeah, let's do that. Ooh, ten thousand still. Maybe one more turn, and then we'll apply it. And start a production here, because we do need some military to defend the homeland. I'll level you. So, um, we're gonna actually start production on that soon. And I wanna have one force over here. Guess Dublin will serve nicely. But never hurts to fill up the garrison. I guess for Paris we're just gonna have to buy a couple of these. They're rather cheap. And there may be one ancient. Alright. Okay, good. Let's take a turn. Just want to make sure, because I really hate surprises at this stage of the game. Broken Lords has started the building of the Temple of the Earth Core. Okay. That's not too great, actually. Can complete the triangle here. Now, I realize this here is a pretty useless spot to build in, but it's... Com well, actually, we don't need to complete the triangle. Because you guys are already happy enough, so let's just continue the line. These guys are already forever. And how do I not have a lumber mill here? Jesus. Jesus Christ almighty. Mm, let's grow a little faster here. Those couple points of science... Well, actually, it's 50 points. Yeah, let's stick to our guns. Um, you level up. What do you need? You need more attack on units. Of course, everybody needs to have more skills for war. Ah, so now where did the Broken Lords actually start building that? Can you see that on the map? I hope the Necrophages are still at war with these guys. Yep, they are. And let's see how they're doing in terms of military strength. They're about even. We're probably running out of time, but then again we're making great progress on our own. Paris. Which are you? Yeah, six grand's okay. Uh, we're making great progress on our own little win condition, so uh, I'm confident we can outrace the Broken Lords for uh, the science victory. Ugh, what's that? Yunda does have an empty production queue. We can't have that. We do need you to uh, just continue lining up here. Get some stuff in between. Don't really matter much. Can grow a bit faster. Oh, yeah, we need to have that going. Dust water and quicksilver, sure. Actually, we fire those. Alright, uh, so now we could get that, but I actually don't need the extra cash. We're just fine the way we are, but I could use some extra influence. And, uh... Yeah, let's not take any chances. This here is just... well, actually... Let's see. Um, status screen. So for the economic victory we are at 50%. And we still need about 12 turns to win the game, probably. So... I guess we could... get the full Empire plan, because what, what I was afraid of is that I'm making too much dust and I will end up winning by economic victory, but that probably won't happen. So we could use the additional dust to fund our military. Uh, we actually could use a science booster. So let's get it. Uh, more military skills, like so. So, well, it's uh, Kukwak. <laughs> what a name. Oh, man. Anybody seen uh, Moby Dick? The, or read the book, rather? Sounds like the... Uh, I keep... Oh, Jesus. That's a stupid blunder. Right there. Yeah, I do... 
get lazy when these games get into the end phase. That's a weakness of mine, not only in games, but also in personal life. Like, I really love uh, the, the start of things. Um, not so much the, the ending of things. I just, once I get a... Oops, you don't have a dust refinery. Let's fix that. I don't have much of anything, actually. Um, yeah, I just love uh, starting things, because I'm really... I don't know, I'm kind of a fast learner, so it actually is fun to get into something and, and see it develop and the planning and the, the ground floor mentality, I really love that. But once I, like, I know where it's going, I really lose interest and uh, that's a flaw I've been fighting <laughs> for, well, let's say the better part of my life. Um, yeah, I know, we got two heroes, uh, like, S like Tarosh. And, uh, of course, Samahani, uh, who is not on a mission just now, but we're gonna fix that soon. I think, like, four turns now? Two turns! Cool. So, in two turns, we're actually gonna declare war on the Ardent Majors and uh, gonna wipe them from the Earth. Well, actually, not completely, but, you know, part of it. Uh, so, here we go. New army. Move you, uh, maybe, over here. And we're gonna assign... I know we have better commanders than Sahami, but I just want to see him in action. He's such a cool... Such a cool hero. I just love the art style and I want to see him battle in the front lines. He's probably gonna get crushed by the art mage <laughs> units, but hey, if you don't take chances, what do you got? Alright, so let's uh, get a basic defense force going here. It's just a couple of thousands. I Three of those, it's got a weird going, like actually... Oh, we're running out of adamantium! Who would have thought that? Well, that's an easy fix. That's still available in masses, so let's get some of you. And uh, what else do you need here? An ancient. And an ended, like so. Uh, I guess I gotta do some troops with Mithrite and Hyperium. At least I gotta retrofit the, uh, the other hero with those materials. Uh, 2500, yeah, that looks good. Whew! Sorry for rushing like that, guys, but... I just wanna get things done in this episode. Because last episode I was babbling around so much and playing so slow, so... And I know how much... I know that from uh, other YouTubers I watch sometimes. They drive me up the freaking walls. Just no other way to put it. Alright, so he's pretty much exhausted all useful skills. Fortification, military upkeep, don't need any of that. City upkeep. Simon cooldown, really don't need any of those skills. Recovery speed from disabled? I guess we could go towards the XP bonus. Well, let's just get that. No, well, actually, no. Oops. Um, oh, yes, I'm sure. Inspect. Let's go like here and then go for the no idle hands, which will level our troops up faster. Lord Keeper. Combat skills. There we go. Um, Alright. That did it, didn't it? Didn't, didn't, didn't. Let's get the Weirn. And queue up one more Ancient. Goody. Uh, two more turns. Let's... What do we have? A truce with those guys? Let's actually... Um, force peace with you and those guys yeah whatever they're still at war right yeah they're still at war very good peace is not very really home must accept we will quack 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 actually let's bring the uh, first venerable flame of Auriga let's bring him to the front line as well I want to see him in action We lack 40 palladium. Wow. 
When did you get so expensive? Um, did we do anything for the turn? I think we did. I don't can't remember if we fired a science booster, so let's hold off on that. Now where was I? Yeah, so I'm pretty bad at finishing things. Um, that's something I... Construction clock. Yeah, I know that. Let me just... Okay. Alright, kind of hard to... Uh, get things done like this. Alright. Construction blocked. I know that, but if I form a new army and bring that... Well, actually, you get my next... Come on. There we go. Mr. Tarosh. And Mr. Tarosh needs to be retrofitted as well. And we got plenty of these exotic materials. Obviously, we need... Um, Army damage boost. We need an army. Am I blind? Oh, there we go. Army initiative boost, and we need an army health boost. Very cool. Um, or should we go? I don't know. The initiative boost seems kind of wasteful. I actually just give him because he's a pretty good damage dealer on himself with the chain lightning. So I'd rather have him give the, the improved damage. And we're already up to 176, and that's with tier 1 weapons. So <laughs> let's watch the fun unfold. This thing is pretty much, without a question, good. So let's have that. Um, helmets. More attack or more initiative? Health 25. 42, 25 defense. Guess Adamantium is pretty good. Now for the weapon. 56. Guess this here is good. Looks pretty cool and uses a material that we got plenty of. So, uh, I don't need a cavalry slayer. Probably most of their units. Wow, 319 damage. That's pretty. That's not bad. Let's put it like that. Alright, so we got our army retrofitted here. What else? Um, we're now in Cold War with the Arden Mages. That's cute. We can't reactivate the Titan Owens. Well, let's see about that. Can we buy some? No, we can't. Yep, we're uh, running out of boosters. I could fire the wine. Not sure if I want that, though. Um, We could declare war now. Let's actually hang on one turn. Oh, we got the troops in position here. We got them in position here. Oh, you know what? Let's actually get these troops moving as well. Where's my... And you are a pretty good commander, right? Yep. Um, Lord Master Samsana da 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 the second. Let's assign you to these troops. The first, Lore Master, the second. And go! And have these guys stationed at the border here. Alright, so we can go in from here, across the sea. We actually can uh, already put the units into the water. One here. One up here, and of course, Mr. Water, uh, Mr. Water Titan, Mr. Fire Titan can be put to water as well. Whew, so much to do. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty bad at finishing things. Uh, as you can see, I'm pretty bad at finishing my train of thought already. So that's something I really struggled with. Um, I'm old enough to be able to work around it now, but it's still gonna take me a lot of effort once I figure out how things work and I can see where it's headed, um, it's actually going to require a lot of discipline to stay motivated for me. I don't know if anybody else has that problem, but 
Oh well. Okay, so we could actually uh, build around this thing. And uh, get more real universities. And I'm gonna buy out the district because it's really cheap. And uh, we're gonna actually have. That will be completing our 15 district quest, right? Now, yeah, for Vision and for Mithrite. Well, we could do some counter proposal. Don't really need Mithrite. What do we have, Paul? I have a lot of that. Titan bones. I like me some Titan bones. Uh, what do you want? Open borders, really. I could give you some dust. Hmm. Language square? No. <laughs> Language square and search party, maybe? Ooh, look at you. Ah, god damn it, almost. Well, let's scale down. Okay, that's good. Because, like, these two are pretty much useless at this point of the game, so. Sure. And now we can fire the boosters again. There we go. Cool. So, I probably left a couple of trains of thought unfinished this episode, but I'm gonna make one promise true, and that is, oh, eight turns and then we win anyway, so might as well go on with a bang, and uh, of course we're gonna now declare war on these suckers here. Yeah, die. And that's what I promised at the start of the episode. We're gonna declare war on the Arden Mages. I'm gonna move in the troops now. I'll just start sieging here. Bring these guys on land somewhere where they can actually deploy, because it's... Uh, this looks okay-ish. Can I start sieging? No, I can't. Uh, bring you guys on land here. Actually, start sieging. Perfect. And of course, bring the Titan on land. There we go. Nice. Oh, I love how he crawls out of the water and stands up. That's pretty cool. A lot of attention to details in, in that game. And in the graphics as well. I love, love, love when developers do that. Because that's actually what makes the game. When you. It just adds so much to the immersion when you see the unit not just plop out here, but. Just that little bit, that little animation that it will actually, because it's so huge, it will crawl out here and from his knees rise up and stand. Just a little thing, but you have to think of that. And if all those little things combined will make a great immersion. Anyway, um, that's going to do it for the episode. We declared war, we deployed the troops, and I think we're pretty much... Oh, god damn it. Yep, we're pretty much idiots. At least I am. I did it again, right? When I make a mistake, it's we. <laughs> uh, sorry for that. So, huh, I need to uh, buy out some defenses here. And maybe we'll need some Mithrite-based troops, because we're running out of adamantium and palladium rapidly. But uh, let's worry about that in the next episode. And we could even lose one of these. Like, Balok doesn't really add that much. Well, 600 science. Speaking of science, let's fire the boosters. Ah, one turn saved again. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Again, I'm looking for suggestions for uh, upcoming episodes, for up for the upcoming series, rather. Going to be played in the, uh, well, quote-unquote, new expansion. And, yeah, just give me your input. What victory condition you want to see, which race you want to see, um, just in general. And... I'm not sure if I should ask that here, but I also, I'm going to continue the city skylines for a while. Not that much longer, though. Um, but I'm looking for input on with what to replace it, because clearly not many people on the channel like to view it, which is really a shame, because I love playing the game. I just, yeah, I just can't release more than one video a day, so I guess I don't have much, not enough time for it. Um, and candidates that I'm looking at is, uh, I could bring back Endless Space, if enough of you uh, want to see that. I uh, actually don't mind playing it, I actually like playing it, so I would consider bringing that back. I um, 
looked at Galactic Civilizations 3, and uh, that actually looks very interesting. So, could pick that up. Or, um, one of the games I actually looked at a lot, uh, looked a lot of, looked a lot of, watched a lot of Let's Plays and watched a lot of um, YouTubers played is uh, RimWorld. And one of you asked in the comments already if I want to pick up the game. It's definitely in my list. Um, but probably I'm gonna just going to ask you guys on Facebook and on uh, just make a special video and put some games that I'm going to replace City Skylines with to the to a vote or just to get your general input. But most of you watch these series and any of you who watch it to this point of the video, I really value your opinion highly. So please put it in the comments um, if there's any game you want to see me play that's um yeah that would be really highly appreciated because uh, my main focus is gonna stay endless legend and i want to get into hearts of iron i started playing hearts of iron 3 and hearts of iron 4 i'll get into that asap as soon as it comes out because i'm hyped for that game you you can't even imagine um i love the hearts of iron 3 i just got my energy got drawn out with all the bugs and all the problems that the game had and uh, then I just didn't play it as much as I would like to and I had a period in my life where I didn't have uh, enough time to even play just a few games but I liked it nonetheless and I think it's really the the grand strategy in the truest sense because of the depth of strategy involved in the in the fights and the battle which is what you mostly do in those strategy games even though there's a um, like a simulation game around it, but mostly it revolves about militarily taking targets you want. So, Hearts of Iron does that pretty much the best of all the games that I've played so far. So I'm just hyped beyond belief for uh, part 4, but until that comes out, there's still room for uh, one or two or three series. So, uh, give me your input. And I probably made my point by now, talking for five minutes <laughs> of uh, what type of input I like to have so uh, I would really appreciate it if you did but if you didn't if you just want to watch the video be lazy and uh, you probably turned it off by now anyway um, it's fine too just uh, enjoy that's why I do these things and also enjoy your day have a good one see you around for the next episode until then goodbye <laughs>